So the other week I created a new product on my Gumroad page and it's a series of scripts that speed up a few things. So some of them just save you a few clicks, um, some of the other ones are a little uh, unusual and some of them are kind of handy. So I'm just going to speed through these and we'll see how we go. So select the two objects we want to measure, hit the forward slash and type in PK measure. And what that has done, it's created a measure out of the left and the right, and it's got the distance for us. It has then fed this into a number range. And then from here, we can just feed this into, into the, say like the radius or something. Obviously we can just come in here as well and change it to something else. That could be used in conjunction with PK position. And what that does, it just creates a position blend and sets the strength to 50. So I can just put this on here, click into position, and then I can move that around kind of nicely. If I wanted to target that, I could probably just put a look at. And then I'll just grab one of my positions here. And then it's just going to target it nicely. More than one way to do it, but hey, didn't take too long there. Mesh array. Just hit forward slash PK mesh array. And then it's put everything under a mesh array and created a custom shape and then added it in for you. Um, there's a number of different ways that mesh arrays work you know you can add them to a duplicator or you know do whatever um, one thing that you could do if you wanted to you could create different mouth shapes and you could just jump between those different mouth shapes if that's what you wanted so you can just double click on these and change that different mouth shape to whatever and it's a pretty easy way to animate things for this one i'm going to do pk comp constraint and what this does, it's pretty handy. It allows you to create a constraint so that it stays within your comp. And it does this by setting up a few different things and it also sets up and manages your align. So as we move across, it's very hard to see here, you've got your pivot point and as you can see it moves across. And it's pretty handy that they are linked up, so that way you can just have your object fixed to your composition. Um, the benefits of this are so that if you've got a different size composition, your animation is going to stay within that. Another cool little thing that you can do with this is something like this. So the way that is set up is that was pretty pretty speedy to do. I've actually got a hidden. This is very unusual, but it, hey, it works. Um, so I've got two text boxes which are identical. You could link them, so you only had to edit one. One is left aligned, one is right aligned, and then I've got a blend shape that link um, goes between that left aligned and that right aligned. And yeah. Nice little effect. Marco allows you to trigger animation using timeline markers. You can link this up to a value array and then feed that into a duplicator or a sub mesh in the time offset. So first up, we have to uh, assign our value array. So I hold down shift and hit marker array. And then you'll see down the bottom that this says value array time offset. And then we can just hit play and go bang, 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 bang. So then you can just move these around a little bit and you can see that it's affected that motion there. So if I just click group, put that into a duplicator and then just go circle change it to 10 
and um, then in our duplicator I can just feed this here and then just go add expression times negative one ah. and then they all pop up as it hits the timeline marker so if you're syncing things up in timeline that's pretty handy if you've got a few objects selected you can just hit pk palette and then type it in type it in whatever you want and then you can just come over here import go to your assets and then you can import that or you could share it or do what you want okay so we've got these we've got these shapes here and they're just moving around if we wanted to add a bit of a bit more of a jitter to that we can just type in pk round and what that does is it creates a round with a frame to it and then we get like a little bit of a stop motion kind of effect um, or a limited frame rate so you can just change it down to four as well and you get a a smaller kind of effect okay so I'm just going to create some shapes duplicate them around by holding down alt and I'm just going to select them all and hit enter and just type in dot and that's just going to rename them and make it a little tidier now I'm going to hit forward slash pk points and what this has done is it has created a point to path for us. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger and a little easier to see. And yeah, so it's created a points to path and um, created an array and moved them all around for us. So what we can, sorry, what we can do here is just move these around. Or if you wanted to as well, you can take off and take that and uh, away you go. You've also got the option, obviously, to uh, close that up. Just jump on to Gumroad and you can download this now for free. Have a bit of a play. Um, if you've got any feedback or any ideas, just um, feel free to contact me, leave a message below or something like that. Cool. Thanks a lot.